Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a constructive proof. This is a proof method where you actually do some type of construction within the proof. Let's go ahead and write down uh, what we're going to prove in this problem. So we're going to prove that if A and B are rational numbers, with a less than b. So if we have two rational numbers with a less than b, then there exists a number r, called lowercase r, such that a is less than r is less than b. So there's a number r between a and b. So it's basically saying if you have two rational numbers, we can find uh, a number uh, between them. Okay, uh, And it doesn't say uh, it has to be a rational number, but it will be. Uh, it will be a rational number. Uh, it just says there exists a number. That's all we have to show. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and go through the proof. So proof. So we'll start by assuming that we have uh, two rational numbers with, with a less than b. So suppose that a and b are rational numbers. These are both rational numbers with a less than b. Okay, so Everything after the if, that's what you assume, but before the then. So this piece here, when you're writing a proof, this is an if, if, then proof. It's an if P, then Q type statement. And to prove uh, a mathematical uh, proposition or statement, um, to prove it's true, uh, in, in this form, what you do is you assume P is true, which we've done here. And now we have to show um, that, that Q is true. So we have to show that there exists a number R such that R is there. So now what we're going to do is draw a little picture. It's going to come over here. And so here's, here's A. Okay. And then here's B. And then we can have an interval here if we wanted to. Right. This would be the interval AB. And we need a number in this interval basically, right? A number between um, A and B. So what we can do is we can take the midpoint. We can add these up and divide by 2. So take r equals a plus b over 2. This is certainly a number, right? It's also a rational number because the sum of rationals is rational, and then 1 half times a rational is also rational. So it is a rational number, but it doesn't say we have to show that. It just says there's a number r. So take this number, right? This is a, is a number. And this number is, is between a and b, okay? So it's actually. Uh, between uh, both of these numbers. So then r, which is a plus b over 2, is less than b and less than a. And it's a number. And if you wanted to show this, if you want to like be a little more precise here, so let's just, since, let's just go ahead and do it here. So if to show what's less than b, we can say r is equal to a plus b over 2, okay? And so you want to show that this is less than b, okay? So r is bigger than a, so this is less than, okay, this is less than, well, a is less than b, right? So this is less than b plus b over 2, which is 2b over 2, which is b, right? Because a is less than b. So r is less than b. Likewise, r equals a plus b over 2. We have to show it's greater than a. Well, b is bigger than a, right? So this is going to be greater than a plus a over 2 equals 2a over 2 equals a. So r is greater than a. Thus, r is less than b. 
and r is greater than a. So r is greater than a and less than b. And that justifies it. So maybe just not, not stopping here, but just going through and justifying it uh, might, be, might be a better uh, route or route, uh, depending how you say it. So in any case, uh, and we don't have to show it's a rational number, but again, it is going to be a rational number because the sum of rationals is rational, or a and b are rational. And then when you take a plus b, which is rational, you multiply by another rational, you're going to get you're going to get a rational number. So something to uh, keep in mind. So there it is. There is the proof. This is a constructive proof. Um, so we did we did spend a bit of time uh, showing uh, it was between uh, a and b here at the end, uh, and I, and I guess that is important um, because you do have to show that it is between those numbers. So that's key. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful and you've learned some mathematics. Take care.